In this class, let us learn energy stored in an inductor. Let us consider an inductor connected to a battery. When the key is pressed, current flows through the coil. As the current through the coil increases, magnetic flux linked with the coil increases. The increasing flux produces a current which opposes the growth of current through the coil. So the induced current will be in a direction opposite to the current from the cell. When the key is opened, current through the coil gradually decreases. The decreasing current produces a decreasing magnetic flux which induces a current and in this case the induced current will be in the same direction as that of the current from the cell. So the self inductance plays the role of inertia. The induced EMF opposes the growth of current or decay of current. So the EMF is called by KMF. The induced EMF in an inductor is equal to minus L into dA by dt. So the cell has to do work against the by KMF. The work done against the induced EMF is stored as the potential energy in an inductor. Let us calculate the work done by the cell. Work done dW is equal to magnitude of the induced EMF into dQ. As potential is defined as work done per unit charge. Or the induced EMF is the work done per unit charge dW by dQ. So dW is equal to E D Q. The magnitude of the induced EMF is L into D I by D T. And the charge D Q is equal to I D T. So the total work done W is equal to integral D W that is equal to integral L I D I. So L is a constant. L into integral I d i. Integral I d i is I square by 2. This work is the potential energy in the inductor. So the potential energy is equal to half L I square. Now let us see the energy density in an inductor. Energy is stored in an inductor in the form of magnetic field. The magnetic energy in an inductor is given by half L I square. For a solenoid, self inductance cell is mu0 n square L. So let us substitute for L. The potential energy is half mu0 n square L I square. But the magnetic field inside a solenoid is mu0 ni. So let us multiply and divide this equation by mu0. So half into mu0 ni the whole square by mu0 into al. So the potential energy is half b square by mu0 into al where al is the volume of the inductor. Energy density is the energy per unit volume. Small u is equal to capital U by volume. Or energy density is total energy by AL. So, it is equal to B square by 2 mu 0. 
the energy stored in the magnetic field is b square by 2 mu 0 where the energy density in an electric field is half epsilon 0 e square thank you